So today is the 16th of January. Good morning to you all. It is currently almost 10 o'clock and I have an ECG appointment today just to check how my heart is doing, make sure that it's still, you know, pumping and I'm beating for Marco. <laughs> so I'm kind of a little anxious about it. I just don't know. I don't think it's gonna hurt. I hope it won't hurt. I've never really done it in my life, but Marco said it doesn't hurt. It is part of a requirement from my OB and I don't know if it has something to do with maybe if I'm gonna get an epidural or not. My plan is I'm not going to get an epidural because of course I've never had an epidural with my previous pregnancies or birth. But you know, if you got to do it, then you got to do it. So that's what we are going to do on this beautiful Saturday morning. This is the perfect weather. It has been raining for the past few days, but the sun decided to come out today. That's what we're going to do on this beautiful Saturday morning, guys, and we will tag you along with us. now so this this lab is it a lab yeah it's a lab right yeah hopefully i don't know the views were really negative really yeah but not because of the service just because sometimes they don't show up but hopefully it's not gonna happen to you but we shall see but yeah the lab is like really close to our place it's like in our town these glasses are from tain yeah, it's really really good because i cannot see the screen so I hope I'm in focus. <laughs> um, hopefully after this, hopefully it doesn't take long because we do plan to go for a walk because it's a beautiful day, guys. It's been like, like I mentioned a while, it's been raining, raining, raining. Man, it's raining so much. Our appointment is at 10.30. Um, I think it is past 10 o'clock. We should be there in about two minutes. Ragazzi, we are done. We waited longer than we did I think we waited 45 test. minutes. Yeah, almost an hour of waiting. For uh, literally six minutes <laughs> worth of test. Update, I am good. The doctor said that uh, based on my heartbeat or the heart test, I'm a little fatigued, just a little fatigued, but I think it's Blood pressure normal. is good though. The blood pressure is good, it's low. I think he gave you another test. We'll see what my OB says. We have a checkup with our OB on Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. It depends on my OB if he will require me to take it or not. But overall, I am pretty good. My heartbeat is good. I don't feel, look at this kid, he's so cute. Mm. But to be honest, I don't feel tired. Maybe. Yeah, I think the most important thing is how you feel. Maybe it just showed that I was tired because of, you know, the sleepless nights. I've been having sleep. I feel like my sleepless nights have been like every other day. I've been feeling tired too. <laughs> But yeah, overall is good guys. Anyway, so right now we are on our way to get some meat. Tomorrow is Sunday. So we're gonna do a little bit of meat shopping today. Oh, you bet. I decided not to just go for a walk because the doctor said I was fatigued, which I don't really feel fatigued, but you know, we got a base in what they say. I want to show you guys the volcano, but the volcano is like full of snow right now. I don't know why, because like the sun is out. But... It's not that if the sun is out, we'll melt the snow instantly, maybe. Oh, really? It's probably like zero degrees out there, maybe even less up, than up that. There. Of course. Yeah.
Hey guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday afternoon. It's currently 3.23. I think I started this vlog on Saturday. For me, I just feel that it is easier to do this. It's just that this third trimester is really, really uh, just a roller coaster ride for me. And since I don't do everyday vlogs anyways, I just decided, you know what, I'll just do parts of a day and then just, you know, kind of patch them up together. You guys get what I mean. But other than that, you know, we have been okay. Me and Marco have been okay. We just have a few things in mind that we need to do, that we need to get going, that we need to get done because I am turning 35 weeks this week. It's kind of scary to think about because, wow, it's, it's finally here, it's finally coming. There's just some things that we need to get done this week. One of them would be, we still need to buy the dresser. I know I've been like saying this every day or every time I vlog, but yes, we still need to buy the dresser for um, baby C. So hopefully we can get that done today. And then besides that, we also, what else do we need to do? Besides that, we also have an appointment tomorrow with our OB. I'm getting my swab done down there in my JJ, and as they say you know the regret is always at the end it's not that i regret it but you know sometimes i wish that i could have done this a lot sooner than waiting for the third trimester i wish i could have ordered his dresser sooner rather than waiting for the you know the third trimester i felt that i guess at that time that i had so much time and now that we're here i feel like we're running out of time <laughs> but we're not we're not running out of time I mean, we're still in the middle of we're in the middle of january i guess another thing that's been happening is i've been having really bad sleepless nights lately i always tend to wake up at 3 a.m and then just sleep at like 5 a.m again so I, i'd be awake like for two hours for me it's kind of like okay ish i guess because it's like getting you ready for the you know sleepless nights ahead so ayan do you guys want to see my baby bump my baby bump i feel has grown so much i think that it grew like tremendously just this week so this is our baby bump currently 34 weeks still i am 34 weeks and five days i'm pretty sure it's gonna get bigger than this so i have no idea how i'm gonna handle it i have been having a hard time walking i waddle when i walk just picture a duck walking that's how i look like when i waddle i did want to show you guys something in the bedroom but marco is recording his ukulele video for the meantime i did want to bring this up because i noticed that people have been asking this for the past videos i've seen i think two or three people ask this so i just wanted to address this to people or answer it in this video yeah. i'm filming all right so the question is or the question has been why do you always speak in english and then the other one is why i don't speak in tagalog in my videos the reason for this is of you guys <laughs> so i actually asked this on my instagram and also on my youtube i've done a poll about this maybe more than twice already and i asked you guys what you guys want because i always of course want my videos to be about what you guys want and you know majority of you actually yeah majority of you requested for my videos to be in english so i had three options either english videos tagalog videos or taglish which is tagalog in english and majority or the percentage of you guys majority of the percentage of you guys uh requested for my videos to be in english that is the reason why so if you are the person who commented on my vlogs or my previous videos before then that is your answer the reason for that is because of you guys or because of my subscribers i mean let's face it just because i'm from the philippines yes i know that majority of my viewers are from the philippines what comes next after the philippines is i think the us so just because you know i'm a filipina i have to have my videos in Tagalog. So I kind of mix it a bit. Sometimes I do Tagalog videos, sometimes I do English videos, sometimes I do Tagalog English videos, Taglish, but majority of them are in English. Sometimes I do get confused and sometimes I ask Marco, what do you think my video should be? And we always look at the numbers in the analytics of the YouTube studio. We always check, you know, which country is leading. And I think it's because there are a lot of Filipina vloggers or Pinay vloggers that have big channels that speak in Tagalog. But yeah, if you guys can let me know by commenting on the below what you guys really want do you guys prefer me speaking in english do you guys prefer me speaking in tagalog do you guys want me to speak in tagalog and english i would love to know like i said these videos have always been about what you guys want what you guys want to see while i was talking he was moving a lot so i was trying to see if we can catch him on camera nope I have the feeling that every time I like record him, he knows it. I don't know why, but I feel that he knows when I'm recording him, which is kind of crazy to think about. But yeah. All right, guys, so I'm in the bedroom and this is what I wanted to show you. Wait, 
I gotta turn this one around because you will see baby sees me. So this is what I wanted to show you. We did a little bit of rearranging here. I don't know if this looks better. The bed is over here and we kind of just moved it horizontally, vertically. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, was that that way? And then I put the little, my little dresser over here. And this morning I also set this one up. So this wasn't attached when Marco and I built this crib. So I attached this one this morning. It was really, really easy to do. And I put all of his swaddles, his blankets, his muslin wraps in here and his bibs. We will leave it like this for now because I did mention that we will be using this one uh, for the first few weeks for baby C. And I was finally able to wash the baby nest. That's one thing off our list. And my hospital luggage is still here, which I need to arrange i'm just trying to check what's in this luggage i still have to do the what's in my hospital bag we will do that at a different time i want to make sure that i don't bring too much things but i pretty much have everything here i actually ordered another one of this that came in the mail last week the same brand but i don't know if it's the same thing i just decided to order another one because i have no idea this one is only like eight pieces and the other one is I think more. So I don't know how many days I'll be using this for. Depends, I guess, on the flow <laughs> of the blood. So now the thing is, unfortunately, it's winter time. And so though it's not going to be like cold in the clinic, you know, I still need to bring thick things like thick pajamas. Like if we were to compare it to like summertime, I can just bring shorts or something sleeveless, something really, really light. So what I'll do for now is I am going to, because I wanted to get this off my list today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly organize and look what else needs to be here. And maybe I can finish off this today baby C's things are somewhat done already so let's just finish my luggage and let's see how we will go at the end of it all man the sun is right here and it feels so good so i was never the one to write up a song for just anyone i i was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Alright so I'm still currently packing and just wanted to update you guys I did change the diaper bag. I decided to go with a pat pat one. Only because I feel that this is a lot bigger. Though the Voxha one looks wider. I don't know, but I feel that this has more space. Like after putting in, you know, baby C's clothes in that, it was already filled up. And as you guys can see, there's still kind of a ton of space here. And just wanted to bring this up with you guys that I received this the other day. So this is something that I've ordered online it wasn't on amazon um i've ordered this on a i think it was like a pharmacy site like pharma cosmo or something like that it was on sale so this is like only for 10 euros so you have like the baby paste which is like the paste or the cream that you put on the baby's butt so that he doesn't get like diaper rash and then we also have the shampoo and the body wash these things i need to bring because i know that the clinic will not be providing them i think they'll only provide it once they wash baby c like the first day and then you know you're on your own so this is actually really good good thing that i was able to see this online each of this is like a hundred is it no 200 ml except for the paste one how many ml i think it's only 100 ml which is fine because i think you only need to put a little bit of cream or a little bit of paste onto baby c's bum so yeah that's what it looks like this is the shampoo it's 5 30 and usually at this time i <clears throat> have my merienda or my snack i've been drinking milk for the past i guess two weeks now just so that we can give a little bit of calcium to baby c bread with nutella inside i know it's not healthy but it's really good you guys do not know how pregnant i feel right now there we go <laughs> this lighting is just so horrible that's us Anyways, we just had our dinner. So full, it's only 8.20. And this is a time where I just feel like I just wanna lay down because baby C is really, really heavy. When we say that uh, it's heavy, it only means that 
how can I say? It's not like a feeling that you know how something is feeling heavy. It's not that. It's more of like you know that there's something there, but it's not really a weight. I don't know if that makes sense. But that's how that's how it feels. But yeah, wow, okay. I still actually still owe you guys a pregnancy update anyways guys that is it for me as soon as i lay down on the couch baby c is gonna be moving around because this is his time so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to end this vlog i don't know how long this video is because i've been vlogging since saturday nonetheless i hope you guys enjoy this video please do not forget to subscribe and like it will really help out my channel let's grow our youtube family together guys that's it for me and i will see you on the next one bye for now and good night me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Cause you put all the pieces back together